Hello, welcome back. Um, today we toured two fantastic museums um, and I'm going to kind of share a little bit of my experience and my take on um, what I learned and what we did in those two museums. Um, so the first museum was actually located in Hot Springs, South Dakota. Um, it was about an hour drive out from here um, and we actually the cool the scenery changed a lot when that drive happened we actually went out from the paha sapa where we're located at now which is more of like a limestone rich area and the more we drove out towards hot springs it actually turned into more of a spearfish um like red sandy um material with a lot of gypsum and things like that actually inside of it so i'm um, seeing that was pretty neat and that actually also tied into what we learned at the museum as well so in the spearfish um there was a hot spring um funny they name it that because the town is in hot springs um this mammoth site was actually a hot spring at one moment um and mammoths would go and try and feed around it because there was a lot of lush grass growing around the rim of the actual hot spring and while they were trying to feed on the grass they'd fall into a pit they wouldn't be able to escape and their bones were extremely well preserved in this um sort of spearfish location um this is what kind of gave rise to this mammoth site. Um, after excavating for a little bit, trying to build a house, um, the construction company actually ran across a mammoth bone. Um, and that's when the owner of the, I guess the project said, hey, halt, we're gonna do something bigger here than just building some pieces of property. We're actually gonna make a dig site. So they have a working, um, our, yeah, a working dig site that they actually turned a museum into um, where you can see multiple skeletons of woolly mammoths and um, other forms of mammoth as well. Um, they actually, I think they had around 51 mammoths already discovered um, in the site, which is a lot. Um, and there is, or I think they said it was the biggest mammoth dig site um, discovered yet, which was really, really neat. Um, so after we viewed the Hot Springs Mammoth site, we actually went down to the Black Hills Institute, which is more of a dinosaur museum um, rather than just specifically mammoth. Um, there they had a very neat mineral room. Um, I took a lot of interest into it because there was a couple of South Dakota samples, um, some ferrocolumbite and ferrotantalite, which um, I'm extremely interested in. And, um, Seeing some of the larger pieces and from where they came actually sparked an interest because a lot of the locations were similar to me because we'd been there before. Um, so I did a little bit more research and I looked into it and uh, we actually went and viewed or tried to get into a couple of the mines that were um, mentioned um, on the name tag where they found those samples at. Um, but overall, both the museums were fantastic um, and I would recommend checking them out if you are up in this area. Um, but that's about it.